Hello everybody. My name's Pam and welcome back to my YouTube channel of quick six minute lessons for the PTE. Today, I'm going to teach you a second lesson on the seventh question type of the PTE, summarize written text. Last lesson, you learned the techniques for how to do this question type. Today, I'm going to teach you how to apply those techniques to a question from official PTE materials. But first, let me tell you why summarizing written text is such an important skill that I'm spending two lessons on it. Firstly, it's worth a lot of points for PTE. Depending on the PTE test, it could be worth up to one third of your total writing score. But also, you don't just need this skill for PTE. It's a very important skill for university, where you'll often need to summarize long books and articles. But even after university, summarizing is key to many, many jobs. Think of lawyers with long documents to explain to clients. Think of managers who need to explain long reports to busy bosses. And think of YouTubers who need to express the main idea of their video in a one sentence video title. You need this skill. So let's move on to lesson 7b Summarize written text, an example. Let's go straight on to doing our example summary of a written text. Now remember, last lesson we summarized a simple written text about AI so I could show you the technique. Today, I want to apply the same techniques but to a more difficult text, and this one is taken from official PTE materials. Okay, so let's look at an example question, and this one is from the PTE offline practice test. This is the question. Now, remember, our job is to read the text and create a one sentence summary of it. And remember, we have four steps. Step one, skim for three minutes. Step two, rewrite for one minute. Step three, combine five minutes. And step four, check one minute. Okay, step one. So let's skim for first, one main idea. Second, about three connecting ideas, and third, one solution, if there is one. First, let's skim for the main idea by finding the key points from the first sentence of the first paragraph. Mediterranean sea turtles lay their eggs on the shore of southern Lebanon. Okay, for now, that sentence is okay. Second, now let's look for connecting ideas from the first sentence of the second paragraph. But wait a minute. This sentence has no clear connecting idea. It's not about turtles. If you can't find a connecting idea in the first sentence, I'm sorry, but you just have to check the whole paragraph. So in this text, the connecting idea is actually the owners protect the turtles' nests. Now, when you try to find connecting ideas from a whole paragraph, look for it with key words from the main idea, like turtles. That's often easier. Now, this sentence, the owners protect the turtles, is not clear to us yet, is it? I mean, who are the owners? For now, don't worry. Just write the connecting idea as some people protect the turtles. Now, Let's find our second connecting idea by looking at the first sentence of the next paragraph. And our second connecting idea is the turtles dig their nests into the sand. Okay. Now from looking at the sentences of the first sentences of the paragraphs, we only have two connecting ideas. And remember, ideally we want at least 3. So let's look at what we have and think about what other information we might need. Firstly, why are some people protecting the turtles? We should make that clear, right? So go back to the text and find that. And here we see an endangered species. So we could add this connected idea. 
the turtles are an endangered species. And now we have three connecting ideas. So now let's skim for the third thing, a solution. We actually already have a solution, right? Some people protect the turtles. But maybe we can find out more about the solution. Let's look in the last paragraph. And here it is. They protect the nests from predators by burying an iron grid in the sand above the eggs. Aha! Okay, now we can move on to step two, rewrite. I did not make it clear about some people, so let's rewrite this. If you read a couple of sentences before some people, you can find some people is two women who manage an eco-tourist bed and breakfast. You can often find the clear meaning one or two sentences before an unclear meaning. And that is enough rewriting. Now, step three, combine. Okay, so let's connect the main idea to the first connecting idea. Now, the connecting idea is added information, right? So the easiest way to connect these ideas is with and. But easiest is not best, so is there any other way? Well, we can use who, like this. Now, how can we connect that sentence to our second connecting idea? We can use but, like this. Now, how can we connect that sentence to our third connecting idea. We already said the turtles lay their eggs on the shore, so it makes, it, sen it makes sense to connect it there with and. And finally, we need to add the solution. This solution is actually a method, and we can link methods with the word by. So, our full summary sentence becomes this. Mediterranean sea turtles, who lay their eggs and dig them into the sand on the shore of southern Lebanon, are an endangered species. But two women who manage an eco-tourist bed and breakfast protect the turtles by burying an iron grid in the sand above the eggs. So step three is done. Okay, so let's move on to step four. Check. Okay, is it a sentence? Yes, there is a capital letter at the beginning and only one full stop at the end. Is it between 5 and 75 words? Yes, it's 48 words. Is the spelling okay? Yes. So we're done. So just remember these four steps. 1. Skim. 2. Rewrite. 3. Combine. And 4. Check. So. You need summarized written text skills for the PTE, but like I said, you also need the skills at university and in many, many jobs. If you use my techniques, you'll survive any situation in English. And also, you should study connecting words, which we learnt today. You can combine ideas smoothly and write English naturally. Find long sentences in books and check what connecting words were used and how they were used. I also teach the techniques with a lot of case studies in my online programs. So if you want help with this, please consider my online programs. You can learn a lot of English and techniques for tests like PTE and IELTS. It's useful for getting visas, business and even high grades at university. But it's only 20 minutes of study a day, includes live lessons and a student community. So you talk and practice with friends. Easy and fun, right? Check neo-english.com. There's a seven-day free trial to understand our program. Try it. And if you want me to support you one-to-one, -one, we offer a private tutoring package too. Now, my programs provide a lot of support and practice with connecting words. There are a lot of opportunities to summarize and to express complicated ideas. If you liked my lesson, I hope you'll keep watching my future lessons. Next lesson, you'll learn a simple way to do the PTE essay. So that is really worth watching. Please click to subscribe. And 
thank you very much for watching today. I wish you all the best with your efforts in PTE preparation. Good luck and take care.